I am Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, which is due out from Llewellyn this year and available for pre-order from Llewellyn Books or Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Uh, so please check that out if you like my approach to tarot. Uh, it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo with three different animals and I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself which animal was getting stuck in your head because that animal has a message for you. The animals we have to choose from are the butterfly, the deer, and the buffalo. So if you're just joining us, just ask yourself quickly, uh, what animal is really calling to you today? Is it the butterfly, is it the deer, or is it the buffalo? Because there is a message in there for you. For the butterfly people, if you pick butterfly, the first card we're gonna go into is where it's best to place your focus for this next week. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, the Page of Pentacles is an earthy card. He's a child of the earth element. But of all of those cards, he's the most that has his head in the clouds. He's a very airy sort of archetype. And what this indicates is there's a marrying uh, this next week between ideas and also action, actual manifestation. The Page of Pentacles is the eternal school, uh, like student or scholar of the tarot. So this could be a time of really putting yourself into some sort of form of study. And also that butterfly is all about transforming the energy. And so this could be a time to really transform yourself through knowledge or through something that you're really passionate about learning at this time. Sometimes the thing that's going to make you feel the most grounded is revisiting those subjects or those favorite books that you have or those uh, certain things that really get you grounded in what your passion is again. And if you can rediscover it and really put your mind into that sort of focused space where you're spending time with those passionate things, uh, you're actually going to find that things manifest beautifully for you. On a more practical level, the Page of Pentacles can also just indicate uh, putting some plans into something that will make something in a financial level really work out for you over the long term. So this is a good time to uh, get some financial plan in place. The second card for Butterfly is Advice from Your Inner Wisdom. And here we get the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is always in a hurry. He's racing ahead on his horse. He's kicking its ribs. He's yelling at it to go faster. And the knight can be a symbol for the cruel taskmaster in your own mind, who's telling you to produce more, to be more, to go for more. And your body is a symbol or symbolized by that horse on the card. And so it could be time to take a little bit better care of your body right now. Give yourself some more rest. That page of pentacles has a lot of aspirations, but the advice from your inner wisdom is also to slow down and take your time and to really also give yourself some self-care and nurturing. Just make sure that you're not bullying yourself from your own mindset, uh, but that your mind, your heart, and your focus are all on your side at this time. And then finally, we got a mythic archetype that's gonna help the butterfly people, and that's Perseus. He's the hero who goes against Medusa. And Medusa in Greek mythology could turn you to stone if you looked at her. And what she represents is those things that we're sometimes afraid to face in our life because the fear of looking at them might paralyze us. But Perseus is all about having courage and transcending it. And all three of these cards have an airy quality to them. Perseus was the one who was able to harness that power of air to really fly to where Medusa was at. And then we got that Page of Pentacles with his head in the clouds and that Knight of Swords, which is this airy card. This is an important week, especially for Butterfly, another air symbol to really apply that logic, this passionate approach to your problems, and that's where the solutions are going to be found. Next, we have the people who pick deer. So if you pick deer, here's your message. Uh, first card is where it's best to place your focus during this next week. And we have Temperance. The gentle deer is followed by the gentle angel of temperance. And so it is a beautiful time to really just go slow with yourself. Uh, there's a healing quality to both of these archetypes. So it could just be a time to be gentle and also to replenish that which feels depleted within you. The angel of temperance is pouring one full cup of water into the cup that is empty. So it's time to replenish whatever it is has felt like it's low on batteries or that you just need to bolster your energy in some way by putting your focus back into what's been neglected. The advice from your inner wisdom for the dear people is the Four of Wands. And this is a really nice card of celebration. Uh, it's a card that is about socializing and connecting and really lightening up at this time. So this isn't really a really like heavy week coming up this next week for the dear people. This is a time to socialize, get comfortable, 
uh, and also just get acclimated with interacting with people on a level that's just based on joy. That's just based on no obligation, but just fun and connection and laughter. Um, the Four of Wands is always a lighthearted card. And so it could just indicate that it's time to lighten up. And when I see the Four of Wands next to the Temperance card, the thing that might need replenishing in your life is your sense of fun, is that sense of, um, you know, socializing or connecting or even just going to your favorite restaurant or favorite place. And then finally, for dear people, we got the mythic archetype that's going to help them this next week. And we have Gaia, the Mother Earth. Uh, whenever we see Gaia as well, the thing that could be neglected or the thing that might need to be uh, replenished at this time is your connection to the Earth. You might need to feel grounded. You might need to take a walk in the woods or go out into nature this next week. But it's important in, in order for you to feel balanced uh, to really nurture yourself through nature. And then also Gaia is the mother archetype. So this could be a good time to connect with your own mother, uh, or it could be a time to really nurture or mother yourself in some way. Um, always when these cards are coming up, it's just indicating that it is time to get back in touch with feeling grounded in the joy of the present and not to get too um, ahead of yourself with getting depleted on something uh, that you're not seeing any growth from. And then finally, we have the people who picked buffalo. So if buffalo was your animal this week, our first card is going to be where it's best to place your focus. We got the Ace of Cups. It's such a beautiful card. The Ace of Cups is all about replenishing yourself through your spirit. You can see that dove that's coming out of the heavens and it's offering that sprig of olive branch. And what this can indicate with the cup overflowing with the water is that this is a really great time of replenishing yourself. Buffalo is a symbol of abundance. And when the Ace of Cups comes up in juxtaposition with that buffalo, it could just indicate that it's important for you to feel how much overflowing abundance is around you at this time. But abundance isn't just about money or finances. In the case of the Ace of Cups, it's all about your bliss. It's about your passion. And the Ace of Cups is being offered to you as a gift. It's saying that your bliss is right in front of you. It's waiting to replenish you. And all you do need to do is just drink out of the cup and replenish yourself with that. There are plenty of good things around you, and what you really just need to do is partake of those things. And a clue as to how to access that is through your spirit. Whatever feeds your soul is going to be helping you this next week. Advice from your inner wisdom for the buffalo is the Two of Wands. And for me, the Two of Wands is always that card of I'll finally be happy when. Um, the Two of Wands is an ambitious card. Sometimes it's a little insatiable because we're always striving for higher and better things, you know, and once I accomplish this, then I'll be happy. And then once I get that, then I'll be happy. But when the Two of Wands is coming up, it's saying it's so important to stop and be present, especially with that spiritual message of the Ace of Cups. It could be time to really center and get um, focused on what it is that feeds your spirit at this time and not be so focused on achievement and pushing forward. This is the last week of our Mercury retrograde, so this could be a time to just put the energy inwards, put the focus internally, and not be so uh, concerned with getting things out there to work your way. And then finally, we have the mythic archetype that's going to be helping the buffalo people, and they got Uranus, who is the sky father. It's interesting, for the deer people, we got the mother, Mother Earth, and then and for the buffalo people, we got her counterpart, which is Uranus, uh, who is the sky father. And so this is a time of really kind of getting yourself in gear and getting yourself taken care of in your internal life, in your spirit, so that you can go out into the world, into the realm of the Father, and really achieve what you really want to do with that Two of Wands there. Uh, when I see Two of Wands next to Uranos, it really is an important time to focus on what it is you want to accomplish. But the buck stops with the Ace of Cups, and it says unless you're replenishing your spirit and yourself and your passion for what you're doing, you're going to feel unfulfilled by looking for that answer outside of yourself. So take time to invest internally uh, before you get your projects going externally. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I invite you to go to ElliotOracle.com and schedule a personal tarot session with me. These little mini readings are wonderful, but they're nothing compared to a one-on-one -on -one reading that goes into all of your cares and concerns. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and please do take care.